Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I've used to demonstrate various free VSTs. Haven't done one of these videos in a while. Not gonna lie, I haven't seen a lot of really good VSTs. I'm getting more and more picky about, do I wanna show you a VST that's just kinda meh, just to make a video? Not really, I'm getting more picky where if I do review a plugin, I want it to be worth your while. In this one, Chow Kick is 100% worth your while. I'm going to give it the perfect rating of a 5 out of 5. This is a kick plugin, hence the name. And I feel like it's very tough to find good kick plugins. I think typically because a lot of people just use samples. But what's cool about this plugin is you can really customize the kick to make it however you want. So playing the standard or the basic, right? Right. Now I can adjust two different things mainly. The pulse shape and the resonant filter. So I can... Just things like, right? So it's cool. I can make it almost like a hard or soft kick, so to speak, depending on how I want to do it. I can just see filter right here. Right, so I can really adjust a lot of things. Right, so I can really just a lot of cool things when it comes to this particular plugin. Now, showing you, like, say, let's start with some presets, right? So let's go to like Bouncy, for example. Now, if I go to another one, let's go to, like, say, Tight. Right, more of an almost, I'd say, like a poppy almost style kick. And what's cool about this, like I said, is whether you want to go for pop, maybe even dubstep, house, even some trap. So I have this tone of one right here. Now, as you can see, when I've been playing, if I do any different note, it's the same kick, right? It's pretty much the same thing. It's not pitch dependent. If I click link up here now, this is what I say, where if I say I want to do some type of trap, almost 808. It's almost like a bass as opposed to a kick. Right, and that's what's really cool about this plugin is you can make it just like a straight shot if you want. If you want to add again some pitch dynamics to it, again you could probably even use this as a bass element itself. 